Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't be locking the door like that, yo. Great news, HBO have just confirmed that season two of Industry is gonna happen. Don't know when exactly it's gonna come out, but you can be sure there will be more reaction videos from me on Industry. Get free premium access to all of my Skillshare courses on investment banking cover letters, divisions, and CVs by clicking the link in the video description below. For those of you wondering, I did lots of internships across investment banks, and after graduating, I spent over three years working at an investment bank called Goldman Sachs. To most people in the industry, Goldman Sachs is the pinnacle of high finance. But to the general public, Goldman Sachs is known as the corrupt, government-controlling vampire squid that created, took advantage of, and got bailed out of the 2008 global financial crisis. And before you ask, don't worry, I'm no longer there. That's a bit of background on me. Now let's get back to the video. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to Industry Episode 5. If you haven't seen any of the other reaction videos, make sure you check them out. I'll link them below and also on Thursday I released a video where I caught up with my Harla Herald who plays Harper Stern in industry. You can check that video out as well. If you aren't already, do consider subscribing to the channel and without any further ado, let's get straight into it. It may have come to your attention that The Guardian have run an article this morning written by one of our former employees, Rishi. <laughs> Thank you. If you get any incoming, the correct response is no comment. Thanks. Peak. Whenever the bank that you work at is in the press, compliance, HR, they'll tell you, and your manager, they'll tell you. Anyone asks you anything, any journalist reaches out to you, anyone that isn't part of the organisation tries to holler at you, no comment, don't say anything, because they'll take your words, twist it. Next thing you know, the firm is on the front page of the FT. And as you all know, reputation takes years and years to build, but it can take seconds to destroy. So protecting the reputation is the firm's number one priority. Why I'm leaving PearPoint today? Does anyone know who this is? Because I don't recognize it. <laughs> you better go. So, uh, <laughs> Where are you going? somewhere called the New Forest. <laughs> everyone goes to the New Forest. Well, I say everyone. Basically, oftentimes the senior employees or the managing directors, they have these off-site days where all the managing directors from the floor or from that division or from that area within the business go away for a few days and it's like a strategy day. Uh, they bring in external speakers, leadership experts, all of that. And they kind of sit down for a few days away from the office in a nice little, you know, getaway and they plan and strategize for the year ahead, discuss business from the top level. So that's why he's dressed down. He's going to one of these off-sites or strategy days. I need you to sit down with Phil. Okay, um, so what do you want me to do? I want you to get a face-to-face -face with him. Show him how much he's missing. Jeez, man woke up in the bathtub. <laughs> So I went on a client trip, took the client out, ended up getting drunk and doing drugs with the client. This guy's on a mad one. 10 years on from the financial crisis, the elite bank's toxic culture is accelerating. Yeah, can someone make an introduction? This looks sizable. Kenny, can you work here and write something so impractical? Kenny! <laughs> you, I don't know, maybe you want to originate something or... So this guy's an MD, he's pissed off because Kenny keeps reading the papers and just chit-chat, gossip, all of that, and he's not doing any work. Just an execution monkey. Have you brought in a single new account since you made VP? Um, huh? I have an in with Brevin. Oh, sorry, with Silver Kite. I have an in with Silver Kite. Hi. Um... I set up a coffee and pitched us out. Really great. This MD, he's going to realise that Yasmin, she's proactive, she can do get things done, do things. It's a bit awkward for Kenny because he's meant to be more senior than her. The dynamic's going to be weird, but you know, you want to be proactive and resourceful as a graduate so that you can help other team members, especially, you know, people more senior than you so you can impress them because this guy will have a say in whether she gets an offer or not.
She's just doing her job, but this guy, clearly not happy. She's showing him up. What? He's answering next person's phone. I don't know if... If you're in the same team, yeah, you could pick up and say they're not there, whatever. But I wouldn't go and answer someone else's phone if they're not in my team. Especially... This this looks a bit risky. Oh, it's Eric's. I could see the baseball glove and ball. And the bat. Something's going to go wrong here. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah, it's no problem. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh. What the f are you doing? Who told you that you could answer Eric's line? Do you want us to miss the business so you can keep your little monopoly? Hey, we're a team. Harper, okay, we answer each other's lines. Okay, fair, fair. I don't think Eric's going to be happy about it, though. Guaranteed. Hey, what was Eric asking you to do? That was just some uh, account management. Sounds clandestine. <clears throat> Everyone's got their own little thing going on, I swear. The politics, the backstabbing, all of that is just rife. And yeah, it's not an ideal environment to be in. She needs to get in front of the clan. Hi, Luke. Harper Stern calling from Pierpoint. I've been told explicitly not to answer any calls from Pierpoint. My other line's ringing. Wait. Ooh. If you're a graduate and you're in Harper's position, how would you get in front of the client? What would you do? Comment below. I got you anyway. Those mugs are classic. Keep cups. Smart. So the reason why she put cold milk is previously when they walked into the client at a previous meeting, he dipped his finger in the milk to see if it was warm or cold. So she remembered that small thing. Now she's using that to kind of catch his attention because everyone's inbox gets flooded with 100, 200, 300 emails a day. So especially if you're reaching out to a prospect or a client, you want to grab their attention. This is going to do that, obviously. Casper's not a very modern man. <laughs> Open a Dutch newspaper. It's more modern than you think. And do you always agree with everything he says? <laughs> Sucking up to the clan because obviously he brings in money. This is super ballsy. You're the graduate and you're taking meetings without telling anyone with big clients. Like, this would never happen. Your manager will probably you probably won't get an offer at the end of the internship or the graduate program. I know Eric's told her to do this, but it's just a bit like, yeah, I would err on the side of caution. Who's she? Uh, is a VP on our desk? VP. No, well, I didn't come here to be had around by one of Eric's team. Have you started to unwind your euro short? I can see that we've had some teething problems with our new coverage, yes. And how has that affected your bottom line? <laughs> so basically, this client left Eric uh, for one reason or another. And so he's being covered by, you know, a new bank or whatever it may be. And it's not going as well as he might have expected. So Eric's trying to kind of get that business back, win that back. But there's previous problems between the two, which is proving to come in the way of securing that business. Peak. Her VP's arrived. She's not going to be happy. I'm so sorry I'm late. It feels like you should probably discuss why I left Pierpoint because that's clearly been lost in translation. Something big happened behind the scenes. Uh, Eric's obviously responsible, but this client isn't happy. Remember that something's more important than money. Indeed, money isn't the be all and end all of everything. Afternoon, ladies. Some salespeople, man, I swear, it's like they try so hard, it just looks 
desperate like they try and win business clients this like have a level of humility or some dignity or some respect for yourself don't overdo it you know end of the day you're going to try so hard and it's not even your business it's not even your company you're working for a big corporate and you're just a small cog in that big wheel don't be that desperate salesperson if you're ever in sales you see it so often trust me i just can't believe how easily you would lie to me is that you or is that him <clears throat> What did he actually say to Felim's wife? I don't know. What did he say? I promise I'm not. You promise? So Eric said something to the client's wife. <laughs> Beats me why why you would do that. But that kind of tore the relationship between Pierpoint and the client apart. Eric hasn't told the rest of the business because Felim, the client, is the biggest client or was the biggest client of Pierpoint. It's going to stop. Just the start. This place is going to change. Watch. If you lie to me again, you have no idea how cold the floor can be. Jeez. And I won't be in your corner, come race. Simple. Shots fired. So now Eric's coming back from the offsite. Watch what happens. <laughs> Man looks like he's ready to fight someone. He legit looks like he came from the hood. He does not look happy. Oh shit! So I told you, he's not going to be happy. Next guy is answering his phone. And, you know, let's see. What do you think you're doing? Why am I getting incoming about a grad executing with my clients? Well, Pandari were off the desk. Did I tell you you could do that? Did I tell you you could do that? Check the P&L, both trades paid money. DID I TELL YOU THAT YOU CAN DO THAT?! Jeez. I see both sides. But, mm, it's a tricky one. Who's in the right here? Who do you think is in the right? Who's in the wrong? Debrief. Now. Oh shit, debrief now. Man went like that. How was the new force? Sit down. Oh shit. Seems like she's in trouble, but let's see what he says. He probably found out about the meeting and what went wrong. Did you see Callum? He really appreciated the Italy steer, but he's not coming back. Sorry. <laughs> Fine. Shot in the dark. He is stressing. I think what's going through his head is this client, biggest client of Pierpoint, or was biggest client of Pierpoint, has left and it was his fault. He's probably, that's a lot of, you know, money that he brings in for the desk. That impacts his bonus, that can potentially impact his job if the rest of the floor or senior management find out that he was responsible because he said something to the client's wife. So there's a lot going on in his head right now. It's going to be very hard to get us all paid without him. There you go. <clears throat> I think I'm f***ed up. Uh-oh. Dario was at the meeting with Kellen. Oh, this is tense. Now he's thinking, oh shoot, what has Harper said to Dario? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't be locking the door like that, yo. That. Oh my goodness, man. This is Harper. Like, she's a graduate. She's a female graduate. And this MD is locking the door. He's old school, what have you. But that is unacceptable. You can't be doing that. Um, if that ever happens to anyone, graduate, not graduate, male, female, I don't care. You should report that to compliance because that's a serious matter what does she know i had to i had to tell her that fell in love for personal reasons because of you oh peak 
this is not going to go down well. What do you think your gratitude's worth to me if you can't keep your f***ing word? Oh shit. I feel for Harper, man. She's caught in the middle of all of this. Get free premium access to all of my Skillshare courses on investment banking cover letters, divisions and CVs by clicking the link in the video description below. I was the only one willing to ignore your non-target background, pull you out of wherever and give you the success that might, let's say, excuse your personality. The massive f***ing chip on your shoulder. Huh. You see how I carefully elided the fact that you're also a f***ing liar. Fun fact, this guy, I only clocked this a few weeks ago. He was in rush hour, I didn't even realise that. Yeah, he can't be locking the door, man. That's gonna come and bite him in the backside. <clears throat> uh, Casper, getting you in front of this Italy thing better get us paid. When was the last time you came to Amsterdam and didn't make a commission? service <laughs> <laughs> over. Classic gold pinky ring. See so many of those in the city. I think it's like a family heritage thing. God knows. I heard you make that new fund out of Brevin. I do my homework. Thanks. Piece of advice. If you sit there like window dressing, it's hard to come back. The quicker you open your mouth, the quicker they know you're an actual human being on top of everything else. It's a good piece of advice. If you just go to the dinner and you shut up, don't say much, there's no point of you really being there. So yeah, try and contribute, do your research and speak where possible. If you're ever going to clamp meetings and that, just be yourself. Don't be too informal and relaxed and, you know, get don't get too comfortable. Be professional, always keep it professional. But end of the day, on the other side of the table, it's just a human being. Like after work, they go home, they put on sweatpants, they don't wear suit and tie and all of that. If you can just picture them as human beings, it takes a lot of the pressure off the fact that you're in a meeting with a client who has the potential to unlock millions of pounds of business for your company. So yeah, just think of them as human beings. It takes a lot of the pressure off. Rishi, Scalington are buying euros. Yeah, on it. Half is at that point where, and everyone gets there, you're like, what the F is this? Tired of this, F this, forget this, blah, 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 I've had enough. Everyone gets there, but then before you know it, a high comes, and then another low, and then another high. That's just the way, I think it's the hedonic treadmill. Life is full of ups and downs, but naturally tends towards a neutral balance. So right now she's in one of the low points, but before you know it, she'll be happy again. Client dinner with Brevin Howard and Kenny. <laughs> I quite like this. It's full bodies. <laughs> hmm. Yasmin did a terrific job getting us face to face. It's good to know that in expense. This is just embarrassing, man. This guy's drinking too much at a bloody client dinner and he's gonna embarrass himself and the business. Yasmin's done the hard work of, you know, bringing these clients out, sorting it out using her network to get to this point, to an important meeting, this guy's just gonna get drunk and ruin it. He's like a big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you would describe it? Yeah, and I'm very protective. It's the only client meeting I've ever had on a Friday night, so I am curious. <laughs> you know, if her dad wasn't in publishing, I'd have guessed he helped get you that job at Brevin. <laughs> <laughs> man sending shots to the client. Just some awkward dinner, man. I knew if I left, a part of me would stay. I once I found myself in situations beyond my control whilst being imprisoned within a prison of my own complicity. I couldn't leave. That would be quitting, losing. So my own complicity towards the very thing that was wrong with banking continue, continued. I was a defected product and instead of exiting, I sold it at overpriced rates and was commended for serving the client and yet I felt validated. One slight nod from a managing director was enough to fill me with the adoration one seeks from their idol. That, oh my God, this is why you, I don't care what position you are at work. 
don't put no one at a pedestal like my one thing was always i don't care if you're a partner i don't care if you're assistant whatever it is you're a human being like some people you you'll see in the world of work people put others on pedestals they look up to them like they you know i don't know like a god or something and it's just don't put people on a pedestal yes you have to respect people for their achievements respect people because you know it's a workplace you have to know your place in the organization know your place in the hierarchy but when you realize that everyone is just human it will save you a lot of time stress and hassle trust me one slight nod from a managing director was enough to fill me with the admiration one seeks from their idol and md nods at you you get gassed you get so excited you think you made it that md doesn't even care about you doesn't think about you when they leave the office what have you like maybe one or two do they care they're good but most people they're just there doing their job focusing on themselves focusing on climbing their corporate ladder so yeah don't put people on pedestals they're only human i was unable to leave not because pierpoint wouldn't sanction it but because i wouldn't i was trapped in my own emotional cell but it was my cell and these were my drugs i knew i left i knew if i left part of me would stay but i knew if i stayed part of me would leave forever i decided that was the more precious part so this is the letter in the guardian from the ex pierpoint person that left i think it's tasha anyway a lot of people are in this position where they get sick and tired of their job they want to leave but they can't or they want to leave but they say i'll wait i'll get my bonus and then i'll leave then bonus comes and then they're like you know what and they stay and it's an endless cycle and they stay they stay do me this favor if you're a graduate or an intern ask people vps mds what have you if they could go back in time what would they do differently or would they do this career you'll be surprised how many people say yes how many people say no or give you alternative answers it's, just, it's something to think about hope you enjoyed that video if you haven't already do consider subscribing to the channel and if you are feeling extra generous give this video a thumbs up it will help the channel grow thank you for spending the time to watch this video and i will see you in the next video thank you